Merci. Dimitris, Hello. Tell me. <laughs> we are in a great place where you have curated a show, but I would like us to speak about your curation in Assen, Brice Marden, in dialogue with Cycladic Art. Correct, correct. Um, it was, uh, it, it is actually, because the show is still going on, it is the most elegant thing I've uh, done as a curator. And uh, I have to say it was uh, um, a, a fruition uh, from uh, all this uh, history I have with Hitler School Projects, my platform on Idra. I met Bryce on Idra. Um, he showed, I included him in, uh, in the Hitler School Project shows a couple times. And uh, the big idea of showing the Greek light and the Greek uh, aspect in his work uh, together with uh, Greek antiquities is, um, um, is is a very unique moment in my curatorial So, but practice. what's the link between his work and Cycladic art? Well, it's Greek antiquities, it's not only Cycladic, okay. it's Greek antiquities. And uh, um, if you carefully look at uh, the way he's composing his, uh, his paintings or Let's say his uh, uh, his uh, abstract iconography mm. has a lot of things to do with light and matter, with energy and uh, thought, and exactly these two uh, genres, let's say, um, and Greek antiquities and uh, his work, because they relate a lot to the surface and how surface is structured. And how you know surface can uh, um, um, can take take our thoughts somewhere else. You know this 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 is a common ground. Hence, you know, I had the opportunity to um, to take uh, items, objects, mostly from uh, um, the uh, the collection of the Gulandris collection, and juxtapose them with contemporary works of Bryce. Like the marble room, you know, the, the big room in, in the floor is all about marble and how light reflects on a marble surface. But he works with he worked with marble too. Yes, of course. This is why we have the marble pieces which were painted by uh, which were painted five thousand years ago next to uh, Bryce's pieces. Some of them he did specially for the show of this year. Ah. So it's a beautiful juxtaposition. But, but, but uh, this is really an aspect of his work which is unknown, right? This is why I'm here for. <laughs> and also there are some pieces from the 90s where they are really cycladic Correct. images. Correct. Oh. It's pieces that he started. Um, the, the series is called Souvenir de Grèce. And um, he used... Uh, um, iconography from carte postale, you know, that you, you would send for the post when you were a tourist visiting a, a, a Greek site. So he would, he, he would base his drawings um, on this imagery, but he would take them a step further. Like uh, he would use uh, um, beeswax and uh, uh, graphite, and he would insert the gelatin of the photography into the surface of paper. So some of this have also surgical pre precision mm. to get it really right. Really interesting work. And um, so he's very close to Hydra and very, to the Greek island. Very, and, and I, I want to, um, I, 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 want, <laughs> I want to think that uh, one of the reasons that uh, um, Idra became attracted, attractive to me um, is that there was an artist community on this island that there was not, not a similar one in a different Greek island. And so he came to see the exhibition? Of course, he was there for the opening. And so what did he say? Well, he, he doesn't say, you know, he's very laconic. Yes. So what he said um, to me is um, that he wants to come back to see the show again. Ah, which is a good sign. 
There is no bigger compliment than this. Merci, monsieur.